Uh, whoa. Hobbies vocabulary for today. If you like to fly a kite or if you like to play soccer, which is, of course, um, it's football. It's a football that we call it soccer. So great. Just let me know what you like. Three, two, one. That's funny. Awesome. Cool, right? <laughs> Look at this cutie one. What are they doing here? Just guess. What's going on? They're killing their dad, right? <laughs> Not killing. It's called in English. What, what's this called, guys? Pretty easy. Something that you sleep on when you go to bed. Put your head on it. Just you dream on. It's called pillow fight. A playful fight using pillows as weapons. Do not kill anyone. Kids were having pillow fight. That's nice. Right? Okay. It could be one of your hobbies, by the way. You do a lot. You do it a lot with your family. Remember, it's a regular thing that you like doing in your free time. That's it. We've got a lot. We've got millions. That's why I told you in the first task, should we have hobbies and or why should we or why do we have or why should we, that's it, have hobbies in our or do things in our free time. Great. Look at it. Yikes. Goody catcher. Be careful. <laughs> it's amazing shark, right? All of us, everybody almost all over the globe, right? Everybody around the world, they know how to pay it. How to fold, look at it, papers. That's why it's called in Japanese origami. Origami, it means, even in English we say it, the Japanese art or process of folding squares of paper into representational shapes. To follow the analogy with origami, we need to know where to follow the paper. That's it. Wow. Origami is ori from Japanese language, which means fold. Gami means paper. Origami means folding paper. In this case, it means basically folding squares of paper. You enjoy horses, games, shapes, whatever you like. Easy peasy and fun. Goody shark. Three, two, one. All right. Everybody knows it. Unite like what? Looking here at that. Especially if you're, um, if you live in different countries around the world, it's very famous in your country. You might see the flags of your country everywhere. Um, and here, basically, we're talking about uh, the American stamps. So it's stamp collecting, which is called philately. Philately is the activity of collecting stamps for pleasure. It's synonym for stamp collecting. Philately means, as I told you, stamp collecting. Very, very famous. Philately workshop was also arranged to train children in this dying art, in this dying art. Why is it dying? Because it's like rare nowadays to see someone who's, who's really into it. It depends. It depends. So philately means stamp collecting. Look at it. Collecting stamps. Stamp collecting. It's called philately. Notice in here the T between two vowels for natives. So speak like us, speak like a native. That's it. Number four, which is more. Someone who reads books a lot. I read a lot of books. I have a lot of books. I have 
16 books and I have Facebooks. <laughs> you do have Facebook, right? But you don't have you do you don't put your face in your books, right? What's this called in English? Bibliophile. What does it mean? Someone who loves reading, yes. Books or collecting books. So someone who loves reading or collects he collects or she collects a lot of books. Sure, the, sh the thought of getting rid of books sickens, makes sick, mass bibliophiles. Medicine here, the way that everybody knows um, bookworms, you know, bookworms, someone who reads a lot of books. But that's what I want you to do now with me by taking this course, you know, that book warm someone who reads a lot of books right especially if it is a turnover or especially if you cannot put it down that's it this bibliophile very important one as i told you we need the formal and informal expression that's it number five whoa it's yikes for kids and for everyone nowadays Robots everywhere, especially for kids. They control it, they know how to make it, and of course, they figure out their its own problems. They're doing some yoga in here, right? Robotics, the study of how robots are made and used. There are main four areas of work. Automated reasoning, intelligent robotics, knowledge-based systems and speech and language processing that is in here robotics also you could take it from robot and then robotics the study itself of how robots are made and used let's get it started quick quiz all right mm-hmm okay everybody Ready, steady, go. We've got a bandy one. Let's get started with it. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, stop killing me! I'm not killing you. Come on. Hey, daddy, we don't like you anymore. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's pillow fight. That's it. What about number um this one i do remember the stamp collecting collecting stamps and here we do mean philately read it carefully look at it listen to it repeat it which means say it write it you never ever forget it philately philately so philately, the activity of collecting stamps for pleasure. Next one, uh, one more. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, robotics. The study of how robots are made and used. What about this one? Bibliophile, someone who loves reading a lot. She loves, why is she not he? I think it's about everyone. Okay.